Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to start this new chapter of financial management that is investment decisions, right? Now, in this video, what are we going to do is in this video, we are going to just see the basic idea of this chapter. Okay, we are not going to solve any problems. We are just going to have a brief little idea about this chapter and in the coming videos, we are going to see the problems. Fine. So what do you mean by investment decision? See here, I have written the meaning over here. The investment decision is concerned with the selection of assets in which the funds will be invested by a firm. It is what? It is related with investment. How to invest the money and where to invest the money. That is what this chapter focuses on, right? How to and where to invest the money. Okay. So, for example, now let's say you are a financial analyst, okay, of a company. And let's say you have been given the responsibility of investing these 90 lakh rupees. How will you invest it? How will you do that? There are lots of opportunities in front of you. Project A, Project B, Project C. Okay. So how are you going to invest this money? Are you going to invest in only one project or two projects together or a single any project? How will you do it? How will you select the project which you want to invest in? Right. That is the main question over here. Where to invest? Where to invest the money in project A, project B, project C? How will you decide it? Will you just take a lottery? <laughs> Will you do that? Will you just take a lottery? Will you put what checks? What you will do? Will you select it anyway? Any project? No, you can't do that, right? You cannot select any project you like. You cannot do that. You can't do that, right? Because this is very important. It's not just like 90 rupees. It's not like 9,000 rupees. It's 90 lakhs or maybe 9 crores. Who knows? There will be lots and lots of funds will be at stake of the company right so you cannot just make decisions on your own right you have to base your decision on some math right you're a mathematical person you're a financial analyst right so you have to base your decisions on some math right so that is what you need to do so that is why you have to do some math and see which project is most suitable and most viable for your company right that is what you have to do so that is what we are going to see in this chapter how to make investment decisions, right? Where to invest the money. See, the investment of funds has to be made after careful assessment of various projects. Whatever opportunities are there, right? It may not be like project A, B, C. There will be hundreds of opportunities, right? So you have to see all those opportunities and you have to analyze, right? You have to analyze through capital budgeting. Now, what is capital budgeting? See, capital budgeting is nothing but, capital budgeting is nothing but just a process, okay? Just a formal process. Capital budgeting refers to the process of making decisions regarding capital investment in fixed assets such as machinery, land, building, etc., right? Now, this is what is capital budgeting. It is nothing but a formal process of investing the money, right? It's a capital investment, not short-term investment, okay? Yeah. There is short term investment, but that comes under working capital. Okay, like uh, receivables is there, inventory is there, all that, right? Here we are talking about capital investment, capital expenditure, the expenditure through which the benefits will accrue to the business for a long period of time, like say seven years, 10 years, like that, right? For example, investment in machinery, land, building, etc. These are the capital expenditures, okay, not revenue expenditures. Revenue are short term expenditures. If you pay the rent, the benefits will accrue to the company only for a month, right? Or how much the rent is paid? Fine. So that is the revenue expenditure. This is capital expenditure we are talking about. So what is this process of capital budgeting? See here. The process of capital budgeting. See, the process of capital budgeting, it starts with the planning, okay? First, they have to plan how much money do we have, right? How much money do the company have? And what all potential investment opportunities are there? They have to identify those opportunities. Fine. And then the second stage of capital budgeting it's the evaluation process what is this evaluation process see in evaluation process what we do is we estimate the cash flows what all cash flows will be there how much do we invest right how much do we initially invest in the project what will be the termination value how much tax would be there right all these things they are going to they are going to what they are going to estimate how much money will come in in flow and how much money will go out outflow right that is what they are going to estimate not 100 percent true just they are going to have estimates right and then they are going to evaluate everything with the help of the evaluation techniques this is the most crucial phase okay the evaluation phase and most of the problems of this chapter are based upon this phase only the evaluation phase where are we going to estimate the cash flows and we are going to use the evaluation techniques to see whether the projects that are there are profitable for the company or not 
okay so that is what we are going to do so there are various evaluation techniques that you need to understand right and we are not going to see these techniques the concept and the problems in this video no we are just going to see the names of these techniques and then in the coming videos one by one we are going to cover these techniques and we are going to solve the problems of each and every technique fine so see here evaluation techniques of capital budgeting there are two types non discounting and discounting now what do you mean by discounting see if you have learned the time value of money chapter then you already know what is this right see what is the time value of money see i'll just explain to you with the help of example if you have 100 rupees today in your pocket then that is worth more than the same 100 rupees if you have that in a year later right in a year later the purchasing power of that 100 rupees will fall down right for example if you can purchase something today with that 100 rupees then you might not be able to purchase the same amount of commodity right with that money right that is what is time value of money it will fall the money the value of money will fall so what you have to do is the money which we will receive in future right after a year after two year after three year the inflow due to that project what will happen for example let's say this project will receive us this projects will bring us let's say 1 lakh rupees okay a year later 1 lakh rupees so what do we need to do we have to discount that we have to bring that value down to the present value for example just for an example if you are receiving 1 lakh in future then the worth of that money today terms it might be 95000 right it may be 95000 that is what will happen okay we are going to see that in detail in the coming videos right don't worry in the net present value so these are the techniques the non discounting techniques payback period accounting rate of return and then there are discounting techniques net present value where we discount the cash flows whatever money we are going to receive in future we are going to discount them okay we are going to bring them to the present value fine so that is what is meant by discounting techniques net present value profit profitability index internal rate of return and then modified internal rate of return yeah so these are the evaluation techniques that we are going to use in this phase right and most of the problems in this chapter are based upon this okay evaluation techniques fine and then we are going to select we are going to select the most profitable and the most suitable project for the company among the projects evaluated okay and it's not mandatory that we are going to select only one project we might also select two projects also fine yeah so that can also happen so the selection will happen in this stage and then there is implementation after selection what project we are going to invest in we are going to implement that project okay we are going to purchase the assets and all fine and then there is control and then we are going to control the project we are going to monitor the project okay right by the feedback reports and everything we are going to see the performance of the project what is happening how is it happening and everything we are going to monitor the project in this stage controlling fine and then there is a review after the project's termination after the project is completed right we are going to see whether the project was a success or a failure right and then this stage will help us in making another capital appraisal okay another capital budgeting this will help us the the review it will help us in the future fine so this was the process of capital budgeting okay the main thing is this stage only okay the evaluation stage the evaluation techniques fine so in the coming videos as i said we are going to solve the problem on payback period and accounting rate of return and then one by one we are going to cover each and every methods fine each and every techniques fine okay then easy right this was just the brief discussion about this chapter right okay